Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Igor and I'm clinical oncologist practicing since 2010. Today we are going to talk about high thrombocytes in blood or thrombocytosis. What are the reasons and what you should do? Let's get started. Dear friends, look, this is liver. Liver is the place where the special hormone thrombopoietin is synthesized. It goes to the blood and then it stimulates special stem cells in the bone marrow. These are megakaryocytes that will produce thrombocytes. Thrombocytes are special blood particles that function to stop bleeding and to minimize the damage to the blood vessels. When there are too little thrombocytes, the thrombopoietin in liver and a little bit in kidneys will be synthesized, stimulate bone marrow to produce more thrombocytes. If there are too much, they will block the syn synthesis of uh, TPO in liver and this will block the production of thrombocytes. So this is the very clever cycle inside, inside our body. What are the causes of high thrombocytes in the peripheral blood? This is the nice table from the article. I will uh, leave the link in the description below. These are two groups of causes, secondary thrombocytosis and primary thrombocytosis. Primary is something that uh, the doctor's hematologists deal with. Uh, this is the primary problem inside the bone marrow, meaning there is some genetic mutation that causes megakaryocytes to produce the thrombocytes and lose the normal control of their production. This is closer to uh, oncologic process inside the bone marrow. And all the other causes are more common. And uh, these are reactive thrombocytosis, meaning there is some kind of infection, inflammation, trauma that can cause increase in thrombocytes. Usually it's temporary and it will go away. That's why if we suspect this, we can just repeat the uh, blood test to see if thrombocytes normalized. Usually we do it in six weeks. Infection or inflammation may cause the release of cytokines that will make liver to produce more TPO and TPO will stimulate the bone marrow to produce thrombocytes. So it's a reactive condition. Also, Splenectomy, meaning the spleen was removed by the surgeon. The spleen is the organ where thrombocytes are destroyed. If there is no spleen, there will be more thrombocytes. And uh, usually this will go away in uh, several months, but in some patients it can last long. Also, very important cause is iron deficiency. Iron deficiency may cause thrombocytosis too. The next group of causes is solid tumors. This is lung, lung cancer, ovarian, cervical, renal, gastric, breast cancer. These cancers, they produce cytokines. They want to have lots of thrombocytes to activate them, to use them as a protection when the tumor cells circulate in blood. They will use these thrombocytes as a shield against the immune cells. Usually high levels of, thromb of thrombocytes don't increase the risk of thrombosis, but in the case of tumors, the uh, risk of thrombosis can be increased and uh, these patients may need uh, their anti-clotting medications. So the oncologist will see if uh, the risk is high and prescribe these medicines. Very high risk of thrombosis in, is in this group of causes, but we leave this group of diseases for the doctor hematologist. By the way, it's worth mentioning that Increase in thrombocytes can be seen much earlier than uh, the first signs of cancer appear. So if the person has thrombocytosis, uh, it needs attention. Usually during infection or inflammation, the patient will have also high erythrocyte sedimentation rate, high C-reactive protein, meaning there is some inflammation. But also in tumors, uh, Erythrocyte sedimentation rate may also be increased. So, what about diagnosis? If the person has high thrombocytes, we check his erythrocyte sedimentation rate, C-reactive protein, and see if there is any cause of infection or inflammation. 
Then we check for iron deficiency. If there is iron deficit, we need to check what is the cause of this deficit. Also, is there any suspicion of tumors? If there is, the patient needs to be checked with different methods like ultrasound, uh, CT, MRI, uh, maybe endoscopy, colonoscopy, etc. If there is no reason, no, if there is no visible reason, then the patient should be seen by the doctor hematologist to check if he has some any mutations uh, and maybe to take the biopsy of his bone marrow. Hydroxycarbamide or hydroxyurea, anagrelide are the drugs to decrease the level of thrombocytes in the primary thrombocytosis. These are prescribed by hematologists. Dear friends, hope it was interesting for you. I wish you good health. Good luck. Bye-bye.